Alright, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I'm back with another Modern Warfare commentary and today I am going to be giving you guys my 7th monthly review of Modern Warfare. Now I know guys, I pretty much say this in every monthly review but time is just flying by. I mean, <laughs> it's almost unbelievable knowing that we are already 7 months into Modern Warfare's life cycle which basically means that we are 5 months away from the release or launch of COD 2020 if it is still scheduled to release by October. But anyways, in this video I am mainly going to be reviewing multiplayer and Warzone and basically how they both felt this month. And for Spec Ops and Campaign as always, um, I'm not really going to be reviewing them at all because well Campaign is a one time thing, I gave it a 10 out of 10 and I still stick to that rating 10 out of 10 for it because it was an amazing campaign. And Spec Ops, well... I have not really played Spec Ops at all this year. The only thing I played from it was Survival and based off of my experience on Survival, I gave it a 7 out of 10 and I still want to stick to that rating as well, 7 out of 10, but I don't think I will ever be playing Spec Ops anytime soon because of multiplayer and Warzone right now. I've just been grinding on those two modes a lot. So yeah guys, with all that being said, let's just go ahead and get started right away because I am literally recording this video on the same day that I'm going to upload it. So I don't want it to get too late and you know, it's just not going to go well. So. Yeah guys, let's begin with multiplayer. Now multiplayer this month was pretty interesting, at least to me. The first thing we had was the IO9 playlist, which is basically called Clean Up on IO9, where it's the new gunfight map, but instead of just throwing it into gunfight and that's it, they also made a playlist for it where it's basically 3v3 TDM, kill confirmed, domination, and grind on IO9, and it's a lot of fun, man. I'm not gonna lie. 3v3 on that. I hope they do more playlists like that where we're allowed to play 2v2 or 3v3 TDM, Domination, or other modes like that in the gunfight maps because, I mean, even though the gunfight maps are way too small for more than three players, I feel like it will still be a pretty fun experience. I mean, <laughs> look at IO9. And we also got the other new playlist, which is called Hard Hat 24 7, which is basically the remake or remaster of Hard Hat from Modern Warfare 3. And honestly guys, I've been having a lot of fun in that playlist as well, but Hard Hat to me, at least in Call of Duty 2019, is not the map to play 24-7 for sure. <laughs> like it's not like a Shoe House 24-7 playlist or Shipment 24-7 playlist where you can play those two maps forever, at least to me, no. I feel like Hard Hat is a lot different now because, well, the spawns are actually pretty good, that I will admit, but... The way people play on that map now compared to back then is a lot different. You got a bunch of double teamers, triple teamers, campers, I mean there's a lot of things. And Harhead did return in its original form, they only added two doors and those are like in the middle of the map. And they obviously updated the graphics and all, but I still think that the map was actually pretty good. Like, it's not bad, but just the way people play nowadays on there is horrible and it kind of burns you out pretty quick. And the other interesting thing for multiplayer in this month is I'm about to unlock Damascus. <laughs> I'm literally one weapon away. I just need the RPG and I got Damascus ready, but it's only a matter of time before I get it. I just need to hurry up with the Road to Damascus episode, so... Yeah guys, I'm excited man, I cannot wait to unlock the maskers after this long grind. Very stressful, but also pretty fun in many cases, so yeah, I cannot wait. However, we're talking about multiplayer in terms of gameplay, it is still pretty much the same thing. Ghost is still overpowered, Dead Silence is still not a perk, footsteps are still way too loud, the minimap has not returned to its original form, and all that kind of stuff that we were all complaining about in the first two months of Modern Warfare releasing. But again guys, as I said in my previous monthly review, I have pretty much quote unquote adapted to the game and have come to accept all of the new changes that COD 2019 has this year because although I don't really like the changes still to this very day, like some of them still piss me off, I'm not gonna be complaining about the changes all year. Like, if I'm gonna be playing Modern Warfare all year, then why am I gonna continue complaining about the changes still, you know? Like, I'm just gonna adapt to it and get used to them. But again, I still don't like some of them to this very day. I also say that because I'm almost 100% sure that Infinity Ward is not going to overhaul the game anytime soon or ever because, I mean, it's pretty much too late now. We're already seven months into the game's life cycle, and I know Sledgehammer Games overhauled World War II six months into its life cycle, but Again, Infinity War, and I'm pretty sure this is what they really wanted their game to be this year, so 
I don't really see them overhauling it, which is very unfortunate because if they were to overhaul it and also tone down the skill-based matchmaking, it would probably be a much better game, like a lot better, but again, I don't think that would be happening at all. That's another issue that I have with multiplayer as well as the skill-based matchmaking. I mean, you could be going, I don't know, flawless or almost flawless in every game, and then all of a sudden, because you don't stay in the same match, the game will throw you out after you finish that match to a different lobby, and then there you go, you got a bunch of sweats and all that because you just finished doing very good and you just stomped on a bunch of noobs. Like, I hate that guys, I get it. Um, here and there it is pretty fun to go against sweats and beat them, but not every game. Like, if it's gonna become something where every game I gotta worry about sweating my ass off, then nah, it's just not gonna be fun. Either way, I've still been having a lot of fun on multiplayer, a lot more fun than I was having on it back when the game launched or back in like the first four months of it launching. Yeah, the game was not fun at all to me, especially multiplayer, but now, like I said, since I've um, gotten used to it a lot more, I've been having more fun and Recently, I've been starting to play it solo and have a little bit more fun as well. And in case you guys don't know or don't remember, I did say in my previous monthly review that I cannot play the multiplayer by myself at all. It's like almost impossible because I get burnt out in like one or two matches. So yeah, it's kind of nice knowing that I'm finally, you know, playing the solo and having more fun on it. But for those reasons, guys, I would have to give the multiplayer a 7.5 out of 10. And that is pretty much the same rating I gave it back in the previous monthly review. But don't worry, guys. I am aware of many of the issues that the game currently has, like the lag spikes that you get when you turn around or turn your head. It's like kind of hard to explain. The hit boxes, the hit registration, the hit detection being kind of off, and the broken camera angles, and many more. Alright guys, moving on to Warzone. Now, much more interesting things went down this month for Warzone. First, the bunkers finally being open. <laughs> I opened the bunker once and man, I was pretty hyped to go in there and get all of the loot. But the most interesting bunker that I really want to open and I hope I can open pretty soon is Bunker 11. As you guys may know already, there's a nuke in there and there's a bunch of other things like computers and I guess a countdown for the nuke, but it goes down from 10 to 2 seconds. Like it stops at 2 seconds and then the timer resets and all that kind of stuff and oh my goodness guys I just it makes me very excited knowing that this is probably gonna be something for the intro cinematic for season four and this hypes me up even more knowing that it could go in many ways one maybe the whole entire map could get nuked and everything's in flames and maybe we'll have to leave and go to a new map maybe Earth's extent because it has been leaked in the files that supposedly we might even get a new map for Warzone Earth's extent because we're currently in um, Verdansk, but I don't know guys, at the same time, I don't know if that's really gonna be it because I don't think Infinity Ward would just throw their whole entire map of Verdansk away and give us Urzik Sand already, like that early, so I don't know if that will happen, but I'm pretty sure that the map will be moved or maybe one or two locations will be completely destroyed, like maybe downtown. Maybe downtown will be completely nuked and we'll maybe have a crater in there and a lot of new loot, new areas and all that, like I don't know guys, there's many possibilities with this new um, feature that I guess will be coming in um, Season 4 and I cannot wait to see exactly what will happen. And I guess there has also been items that have been found, like for example an RCXD that are teasers for the next Call of Duty, which is supposedly going to be called Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which that sounds a lot, like a lot of fun man, I cannot wait for that game. And I think the trailer is actually going to be dropping tomorrow, Tuesday, so yeah guys, there's a lot of things going on right now, man, I cannot wait, but that RCXC, supposedly, I guess there was an RCXC that people found, and I guess it's not finished being constructed yet, but it, you can see it like on top of a table, and it looks pretty sick, man, and if it really is a teaser for uh, COD 2020, then that is amazing, man, like a lot of things are really going down in the Call of Duty world, but gameplay-wise, Warzone is still a lot of fun, and I've been taking lots of dubs recently, and I got like probably four to five more wins to upload on the channel, so I cannot wait for that, <laughs> I got them right now all stored up, but it's been a lot of fun on Warzone, and if it wasn't for Warzone, honestly guys, I don't think Modern Warfare would be doing as good as it is right now because, I mean, it was kind of suffering before Warzone released, and now that we got Warzone, I guess we got over 60 million players on it, and I guess it might be even more now, it might be 65 million or 70 million. I wouldn't be surprised if we soon hit 100 million, that would be crazy. So for all of these reasons, Warzone is going to still be a 10 out of 10 for me, and it's always been a 10 out of 10 ever since it released, or actually, I think it was a 9 out of 10 the first time, but 
The second time and third time, it was a 10 out of 10 because my goodness, man, this mode is a ton of fun. And I cannot wait for duels, man. I hope that duels finally releases for season four because I don't know what's taking up so long for duels, but I just cannot wait for it, man. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much all I wanted to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on post notifications so you guys are alerted every single time whenever I upload. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about Modern Warfare in its seventh month. Did you guys think that it was pretty fun, pretty boring, pretty interesting? Anything, let me know. And again, I thought it was a pretty interesting month mainly because because of that nuke in Bunker 11 and Warzone. <laughs> I cannot wait to see what's gonna go down in Season 4 because obviously that nuke is not being constructed in Bunker 11 for no reason. I'm sure that Infinity Ward is doing this to tease us about something that's gonna go down in Season 4 and again. I have a feeling that the map is gonna get nuked or I have no idea honestly. It might be something completely different but again we're just gonna have to wait and see and I cannot wait. But anyways guys I'm gonna go back on the grind so for the last time thank you guys so much for watching. If you have anything make sure to drop a like and hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Monday and without that being said it's been John. Ready to get back on the grind and waiting for that intro cinematic for season 4 and the possible reveal trailer for COD 2020 tomorrow and I'm out. Peace.